Hello, this is Nancy Marion with Remax Real Estate Concepts. I'm here today to give you a tour of 305 E Avenue in Nevada. E Avenue is very close to South 4th, which goes right out to Highway 30. So if you're a commuter, you couldn't have a better location than this home. This home sets on three lots divided into two. The north one there is a buildable lot, and I'll give you a good look at that when we're done with the inside of the home on tour. This home was built in 1968. It has 1596 square feet above grade and about 600 square feet finished in the basement. It's a very unique home, custom built, and even with the front porch here you can possibly see the detail on the curved joists that create sort of this open rustic front porch and from this porch you will always have great sunset views entering into the home here we first see a beautiful wood staircase. This wood staircase also has full wood paneling on the side. It's actually beautifully done. This room is quite dramatic. Open beams, full stone chimney, open to the loft area up above. The owners have lived here since 2007. They've done a number of improvements, including a high quality wood burning insert and a new liner all the way up in the chimney. One of the original aspects of this house is the Pella roll screen windows. Pella roll screen made its name from these retractable windows retractable window screens. It's actually a really nice feature to the property. As I pan through the rooms here, you can see that the pegged oak flooring is consistent throughout most of the main floor with the exception of the kitchen. It is distinguished by these dark wood circles which actually cover the wood pegs in the floor itself. It's a very beautiful floor. We don't see that kind of floor very often. The other set of corner windows is a new set of windows. And we're in the middle of the very large dining room adjoined to the kitchen. The kitchen has custom cabinetry, new appliances, range, dishwasher, and refrigerator. And it also has a nice pantry cabinet here that has a built-in cutting board which could just be used as sort of a side table as well. The kitchen has a nice little pocket door here that could separate off your dining room garage if you like. And the main floor mudroom has a entry to the driveway, entry to the garage, a coat closet, and main floor laundry. Stepping into the garage here I want to show you how big this garage is. We've got two separate doors which contributes mightily to the space available in here. You could have a workshop, extra storage, whatever the case may be. And up above this garage, the entire garage has storage which you can access by a ladder.
Behind the stairs, there's a three-quarter bath, lots of built-in storage, which cabinetry matches the all the louvered doors in the house as well. Tile floor. All the doors in this property are a solid wood six panel door. This is the large main floor bedroom with a nice sized coat closet. These windows are east and south facing windows. Upstairs is the loft area. The loft would make a great office or playroom for kids. And this gives you a great look at the open area to the main room below. Many closets another full bath a second large bedroom let's go down and see the basement now The basement has a new tile floor and egress window. Almost every room has been painted in this home too, so you'll find that surfaces, windows are all in very good condition. This is our third bedroom. Another look at the family room with egress. Adjoining this room is our wet bar. The wood structure in the corner covers the sump pump. So wet bar has a small sink and lots of cabinetry. To the right off the back hallway is the furnace room complete with water softener, water heater, furnace, and lift station. The owners did put in a new lift station pump recently. Three-quarter bathroom and big storage area with built-in shelving. So if you'll hang on with me for just a minute or two, I'm going to walk outside and show you the lot and some of the enormous landscaping project that the owner completed. This second buildable lot goes all the way up to the road behind. Currently it's landscaped with retaining walls and perennial beds. This is a buildable lot, so the owner of this property could build another garage, they could sell the lot for a home, and then these views here give you a wonderful look at the bike trail which runs through the city of Nevada as well as off in the distance you'll see a white building 
which is part of the Nevada Fairgrounds. There's a little waterway down there as well. Most of this ground down there is floodplain ground, but as you can see, we're very high above it and there's no danger of any type of flooding out on this property. My still pictures also give you a little bit better look at, at these extensive retaining walls, but this gives you an idea of what the owner has done. And this bed right in here is actually her garden. And so if you also have an interest in gardening, this makes an amazing place to plant tomatoes or whatever else you want. And then you can see how the trail continues on through there and under E Avenue. So this is Nancy Marion and I hope this gives you a good look at 305 E Avenue. It's listed for $259.9. Thank you very much.